Whidbey Island resident Robert Sanders and the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission allege that he is the victim of unlawful racial discrimination. In July of this year, the commission and Sanders alleged that as a Big Five management trainee, that other employees called him a spook, a boy, and even King Kong. The agency and Sanders claimed that Big Five staffers told him that he had the face of a janitor. He complained to the EEOC, and that's when the agency filed a federal lawsuit against the sporting goods behemoth that reiterated those claims while accusing white managers of suggesting that Sanders kill himself if he called in sick to address his emotional state. Yeah, a I'm Big sorry, Five yeah. district manager initially did not want to talk. That's the first thing. Touch Don't touch it. All right. Peter. Last name? Peter. Okay. Last name? My name is Peter. Yeah, and I have no comment to make sale. at this time. Okay. Uh, have you read the allegations? Uh, yes. Okay. And you would agree, though, if those allegations are true, that that's behavior that falls below the standard of acceptable conduct. I have no comment conduct. to make if you need to contact anybody, you need to contact your corporate office. Greater Seattle Urban League President Pamela Banks finds the allegations extremely disturbing. Banks stated that these types of claims were more prevalent outside of the Northwest. I've heard about other allegations happen like this, but it was usually in the South. It's, it's a hard conversation, and it's a real hard conversation to have it in the Pacific Northwest because we don't have the legacy of slavery like they do in the South. Human Resources Specialist Merrill Carey has a practice based in diversity and inclusion. She says Big Five needs to look very closely at its corporate culture. They need to look really hard at their corporate culture. What are they going to do in the future to prevent this from ever happening again in any of their stores? As many African American people and other people of color that shop in Big Five, I shop in Big Five, it's, it's, it's just very disgusting to me that they would allow this to happen at this level and that it would take the EEOC, the federal EEOC, to actually sue them. Calls to the corporate office and to Big Five attorneys were not returned.